Good morning, afternoon, whatever the heck time it is. This is Paula Ward, aka Tutu Fit Mama. I know I've been out for a week and I'm sure you've missed my cooking shows. Um, we are still in September, which is crazy mode. Um, between sick parents, sports, kids, school, back to school, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Uh, so today is catching back up on getting my house clean, getting things put away, heading over to see my dad, and going to the grocery store. But the kids are going to get off the bus in a couple hours, and I'm like, what the heck am I going to feed them? We're literally down to no food left in the refrigerator. So um, we've got chicken. So the first step of my chicken is to thaw, thaw it off of the nasty plastic tray that it comes on. I will say to you guys, and I haven't been doing this lately and I'm now kicking myself, is um, basically before you bring your chicken home, put it in a freezer bag, take it off of that nasty plastic thing, because then when you have crock pots in the fall, you can just throw it in there and let it thaw in the crock pot. Um, I had to defrost it to actually get it off so I could actually put it in my crock pot, which took me about a half an hour, which kind of you know, set me back on my time. So tip number one for today, before you defrost your meat, if it's got like that plastic, um, you know, especially chicken, it's got that plastic or even pork, it's got that plastic and that, I don't even know what the point of it is. If any of you guys know, please um, chime in that foam that it's on. I don't know. I used to buy chicken in bulk and it was kind of freezer sealed. It was much better. Um, but this time I was at Wegmans and got a big tray of it. So, um, take it off the plastic, put it in freezer bags and kind of put it you know, like the size of your crock pot. That way you can just throw it in there and throw some kind of sauce on top of it. Um, so what I did was I basically have a huge book of recipes. Um, here's my book. And a lot of it is wild tree recipes, um, the company. Um, and I basically went in and I'm like, all right, I got chicken. I got four apples. I've got, I went through my spices. I didn't have honey mustard sauce, but I had spicy mustard I'm gonna try it. it just tastes like a tangy uh, mustard dressing to make it for the honey mustard I threw a couple tablespoons of honey in my crock pot cut up the four apples um, I had cider vinegar I didn't have chicken broth but I had chicken bone broth so I was like what's the difference we'll see threw that in there and salt and pepper um, and then I think there was some onion powder in there so basically that's what I did so this will go for like 68 hours um, so there's, there's about two pounds of chickens and chicken in there. My apples. Um, I put this one on slow because if I have to, the kids can have something else until later. Uh, we have sports tonight. So that is my hot mess Monday. I'm literally winging it. This is, I don't know, Jen, I'll let you know. It's kind of rough in here. But um, today I'm going up. I have my food menus um, set for the week and I've got stuff for the kids. Uh, I think it's called honey mustard apple and chicken or something I don't know something like that but um, it should be okay the only thing I changed was I didn't have the right honey mustard I didn't have honey mustard or honey mustard dressing so I don't know maybe I've got a new thing and I'll um, patent it and I'll make tons of money doing that so I'll let you guys know I'll let you know what the kids think um, this can be put over rice I'll probably just have a salad with it because um, there aren't any vegetables in this crock pot meal um, you could put it over quinoa um, I guess you could put over pasta. Most of the time we do rice with that. Um, but that's it. So, hope you guys are having a great Monday. I'm out of my mind. Look, at my glasses aren't even straight. And I'm going to work out, shower, and head out to go go shopping and see my dad. So, have a great Monday. This is Paula Ward, a.k.a. 22 Fit Mama. Missed you guys, and I'll be here all week. Have a good day.